<laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're back with a wonderful crowd of people. <laughs> Uh, gorgeous people, beautiful people. They're on television, right? That's what you do is television? Is this a television show? Well, this show is television. We all do a film, little I bit know, of everything. I know. Right. Yeah. I've, I've seen them on film before. Mm -hmm. well, but you don't go on. You're the writer, right? Yes. So, head writer for so you're walking down the street one day and, and the producer came up to you and said, Hey, let's do a TV show. It's called Dateless. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. <laughs> no, actually, a friend of mine, Laura Ben Dixon, we were working on another project. I'm a stand-up comic as well. And we were working on another project, and she thought I would be a good fit for a writer. So I found a few other writers, and we got together and wrote this project. It's a lot of fun. It's great. Yeah. And this is a brainstorm of Laura Ben Dixon. It's, a, it's a kind of based off of her loosely based off of her life as a matchmaker. Uh -huh. And so she had some really fun personal experiences as a matchmaker that she wanted to kind of share with the world and that was her little brainstorm with her and Laurel and the other writers. I see, okay. Well that sounds, it's a whole lot, just the idea of a matchmaker sounds like it could be really kind of a funny, a funny series of uh, events. Exactly, and it's not just the people that she tries to match together, but it's the interesting people that work with her on top of that. So they're not exactly the most normal people themselves, <laughs> trying to match other people up. That's true, but they must have some talent at it if, if they're going to survive, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> so why don't we go around and talk about the characters. What character do you play, sir? Actually, not in the show. I'm executive producer, okay. and I played... Uh, Props master behind the set. Prop so master behind, behind the, the camera, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that sounds he, good. He mastered the props. So, mastered the props. <laughs> we'll talk you into he is the master. producing a television show. Uh, you know, I, I, I fell in love with the script when I saw it, and I know some of the actors that are in the show, and I just threw my support behind it, my time and yeah, it's, it's money a lot and of talent. Time, money, yeah. talent. Time, yeah. money, talent. Yeah. I actually good. roped him. That's right. And she wrote I, you know, no, to a no. chair and said, long you're going to do you, this. <laughs> told him you would release the secrets. <laughs> That's Excellent. right. Okay, what are the actresses, the two actresses in the back, why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us about your characters? Are you recurring characters, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I am Lizbeth, uh -huh. and um, she plays um, a pretty, I would say, um, Self-important, shallow, um, we've all had them in the workplace. We know them, and you never quite know what goes on outside the workforce, outside the workplace. Yeah. They're not friends with anybody outside of work. It's, their outside life is a mystery, and their inside life is just as much a mystery. They're <laughs> definitely motivated by money. She is, and uh, she's just money-driven, and... Like I said, shallow as a okay. as a rain puddle. Like a rain puddle. What a good image <laughs> that you know of. Oh, well, that's all. That's all you see. So you never know. There there could be many layers. You could jump into that rain puddle and, and fall all the way through. Absolutely. But you'd have to take the leap. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hey, madam. Um, I play Sophie. Um, my character is well <laughs> interesting very interesting <laughs> she's kind of dark mean not really like interested in anything that's going on in the workplace uh kind of just brushing everything off as not being a big deal and you know everybody else is really into what they're doing and i could care less uh -huh. so veronica tell me then how do you fit into the matchmaking business um i am the i believe i am the lead matchmaker is that correct? If I remember correctly, I'm the lead matchmaker, and um, basically I finish everything that everyone else is getting ready. I interview the people and put them on, you know, their videos, kind of make yeah. them look presentable. Is it a very it. complex process? Um, you don't you don't do it like uh, in real life, John Carson, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how she does. It. Oh, I see. <laughs> yep, I just fake it and make them look good. No, it's, it's really a really interesting thing. So, uh, what's the, been a response to the show? It's been really great. We've had a great uh, group of people um, all over who mm -hmm. have supported the show. 
and um, not just financially. We want to. We dig starter, and so mm -hmm. we have people from basically all over the United States, and some even from overseas who donated to the project, um, which was really great. And we were able to meet our goal and over our goal, which helped us to get the this big pilot together. And um, Gateway Realty loaned us their building out of Fairfield and said, "Hey, here's our office." We support you guys. Let's do this. And That's so good. they were amazing. And um, so we've had a huge support of this and big love. So when oh, yeah. people uh, big love you on uh, Kickstarter, <laughs> do they tell you why you've, they've chosen to support you? Um, I think it's because they believe not just in the story, but the people that are involved mm -hmm. in the story. Okay. So um, most of the people that are involved, they knew that when we would do this, that we would see it to the end. Um, and a lot of times people are afraid to get involved in Kickstarter because sometimes projects don't get finished, they just don't. Just right. like, you know, any creative endeavor, you know, they, mm -hmm. they either work or they don't and it's not necessarily um, because uh, people's, uh, you know, fortitude is uh, not there. If there's a lot of ex extraneous reasons why things don't make right. it. Right, and, and people were so excited when we made our goal. It was like people in Sacramento and even Washington State because we had a a large crew, some friends of mine that have done a television series before came down and helped us. They brought uh, the Red Epic Dragon for us to film on with prime lenses, which I don't know if you know much about cameras, but they cost a whole lot of money. And uh, brought us Movi, which is a lot of the accessories, and they're incredibly expensive as well, and brought state-of-the-art stuff, sound equipment and everything, and brought it down from Washington State. And so they came to help train a lot of people from Sacramento to do this. That's good. Um, and so we had uh, great support from you know people in Lodi came to help us, uh, people from uh, Placerville came to help us, um, and we just formed a huge family team. I had 35 crew members, <laughs> um, so and that's just the crew. So and we had security. Uh, mm -hmm. Ron Nakamoto came and did security for us. And Nakamoto, the uh, the great. Uh uh, audio uh, king? I don't know. No, it, Ronald Nakamoto is actually security. Does a lot of security work in the area for oh, Sacramento. Because okay, Nakamoto is the one the that does great the voiceovers. The security protector. He He's was a great. Great, great, great voiceover. Great. Ray Ma Ray yeah, Ray he kept Ray. crazies off the set. <laughs> and so um, that's why I wasn't there, because he kept the crazies off. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I'm the producer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so it was great. People were really excited when we make Kickstarter because they say you just don't see many projects actually make their goals Absolutely. and see it come to fruition so people were thrilled that we actually made it, it was this great. It's wonderful. So I'm getting a little sign that says that you brought a little clip that says that it will help us learn more about your new program. It Can will we watch help it? you a little bit, yes. Okay, really good. What are we, uh, we going to see? This is kind of a pastiche promo? Um, yeah, we're going to have a couple of behind the scenes things. We were hoping to have a clip for you guys exclusive for Access Sacramento. <laughs> yeah. Our director's on set somewhere right now, literally filming, so okay. he couldn't get it just in time. So we're going to just show you a couple of a thank you and then a behind the scenes. Just a couple of clips. Okay, so let's watch that. Here we go. Hi, my name is Sophie. And I am on Dateless. <laughs> Seriously, though, I love my job. She can't go out in public without makeup, and he's afraid of what they're saying, so he stays real drunk. And it's unlikely that they'll run into each other on the street, so we're just trying to facilitate a meeting. And we'll all die alone. But in the meantime, we don't have to be dateless. We're all pretty much dateless. But we're matchmaking at its very best. Come on, put us to the test. He's 47 and he's fairly fat. But she just wants somebody stable, she's okay with that. And it's amazing what we see in this dating industry It's like there really is someone for everyone but me And we'll all die alone But in the meantime We don't have to be dateless We're all pretty much dateless But we're matchmaking at its very best Matchmaking at its very best. You're on. Laurel. Hi. You're on. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you? Great. <laughs> so, do you do you date often? No. 
That was that's a beautiful why, reaction. Oh, I loved it so much. That's why you should use that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's so funny because it's the the main character is a woman who's in just stateless herself. Oh. So she's retarded in mm-hmm. relationships. Oh, so but I saw you uh, hanging out with the actors over there and that yeah. thing. So are you, do you look at them and watch them and think, oh, oh there's an idea I could use that right there. No. You get any ideas from working around well, them? Well, I, I do get ideas for as for their personalities, writing for them. And Are there other writers that you've, you've made to work with her? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you're kind of working a team. Yeah. Cool. And even um, Josh Hodgins, our director, mm-hmm. helped with some writing as well. Yeah. So, I don't want and that. And he's one funny guy, too. Oh, so he's so hilarious. Mm-hmm. He's great. Good. Good. The whole crew works so well together. Oh, it was wow. so, so much fun. I think you guys will actually get to see him in the next clip. Josh. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, we don't have a next clip. Oh, we today. don't. No, no not oh, today. So Maybe next time we do the interview. Oh, okay. You, you do the ten-year reunion, and you can come back. Okay. When we're when we're in our tenth season. That's right. Tenth right. season. Tenth season. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, it must be really kind of fun working with a group of people. It's a lot of fun, especially this group. Yeah. Uh, uh, there was just a uh, a uh, play in town about uh, writers writers on a comedy comedy team. It just closed and I, I caught it. Caught it last weekend before it closed. Oh we do have B roll. We do how could we, how could that be? Alright, let's have a look at the B roll, okay everyone? What is this? Hi, I'm Laura Ben Dixon. I am the creator of Dateless. And I'm Josh Hodgins, the director of Dateless. So we just wanted to say thank you to all the Kickstarter supporters. We had a great time shooting on Dateless. Just wrapped up. The crew's still running around going crazy. We can't wait to show everybody the show. It's so funny. And uh, over the next couple months, we're going to be letting a lot of stuff out that you guys can enjoy. And hopefully, we'll see you at a premiere soon. Yeah, absolutely. So all of you that donated and your reward is the subscription to the behind the scenes footage, you will be receiving that very soon. And hopefully we didn't let you down. We're pretty boring. It's pretty lame. <laughs> Not really. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, thank you very much. Thank you. All pretty much dateless. But we're matchmaking at its very best. It's very best. Come on and put us. Okay, it's called Dateless and it's a wonderful show. And when are we doing it and where? Why? Um, well, we're still trying to get more episodes up and going. So if people want to find out how to get involved and help us to be able to make this a reality, mm-hmm. um, they can go to our fan page on Facebook. So they can go to Dateless Fan Page. Mm-hmm. And then um, we still have more episodes that we need to film. So we definitely need more help with that. And that would be amazing if people reach out to us that way. So, okay. And we are in negotiations with affiliate channels okay. across the nation to get it aired. Great. Okay, I guess we're going. Well, look at that. Look at that. Look at yeah. that. Bye, bye. Happy retirement, Yay, Deb! Happy Yay, happy retirement! Yay. wonderful man who got me knocked up, borrowed all of my money and my car, and said he had to drive to Hawaii for a job interview. And, well, he must have gotten the job because I haven't seen him since. (laughs) Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Did you just text me that you're bored? I do really have the worst luck with men. It's not me. It's you. It's not me. It's you. You're a butthole! I am a butthole. You need a date. Well, some of us really need some help. (laughs) That's an understatement. (laughs) Hi, I'm Bill, and I love video games and my mom. Bill, this way, please. Sorry, I'm so nervous. I've never done it before. Oh, good lord, man. Are you kidding me? What are you, five? The word was once. 
on a dare. I would like to introduce you to our new office manager. I know a girl. She's an in-home caretaker. I think you'd really like her. I can totally see how your mom might freak someone out sleeping like that. I'm awake. He's good. All right, Bill, just be yourself. Hi, I'm Bill, and I'm rich, and I have a huge...